Good evening. He says he wants to put the case behind him. Today, a man charged in connection to a murder nearly five years ago in Madison County pled guilty. Ryan Denholm is accused of bringing the shotgun his brother Matthew used to kill two men back in 2011. Matthew Denholm pled guilty to murder two years ago. Victor Puente was in the courtroom. He tells us what Denholm had to say to the family in our top story at 530. Today in court, Ryan Denholm said he wanted to bring closure to Zachary Flowers' mother. He admitted to bringing his brother the gun that was used to kill Flowers. The Army veteran was killed in 2011 following an argument at a Berea apartment complex. Police say Ryan's brother, Matthew Denholm, had gotten into a fight with two men when Zachary Flower and Kevin Price intervened. In court, Ryan Denholm admitted that he took a shotgun to that apartment complex. Made the mistake, which I realize now is a mistake. I grabbed a gun from, of my brother's from my place. Matthew Denholm used the gun to shoot Price and Flower. He pleaded guilty to that murder and two other unrelated murders in 2014. He's serving three life sentences. Ryan Denholm answered to charges of facilitation to murder, facilitation to commit murder, and facilitation to burglary earlier today. Guilty. Facilitation to burglary, how do you have to plead? Guilty, Your Honor. The recommended sentence for each charge is five years, running concurrently for a total of 15. Flowers' family said they weren't happy about the plea deal. There was nothing they could do to stop it. My whole purpose of being here today is to put this behind me and to bring closer, closer to Zachary Flowers' mother. I'm not trying to torment her. Denholm will be back in court July 22nd for his final sentencing. In Madison County, Victor Puente, WKYT. And because of the time he's already served, Denholm is already eligible for parole.